In the state of emergency, we can hear a man calling for help, he radios in that they are under attack and his people were attacking him. We then find out that the United States has two interceptors whose main purpose is to detect and shoot down any nuclear missiles. The first one is located in Alaska, Fort Greeley, while the other is a seaborne platform known as SBX-1. At a classified location, a woman known as Captain Collins arrives at the SBX-1, she is revealed to be the missile system specialist. Ensign Washington then welcomes her as she takes her to go meet Colonel Marshall, after they salute each other, he tells her that the place was still the same way she left it, although she is infuriated that they had to reassign her to the same station again. Washington then shows Collins her room, as she got inside, she sees a poster that reminded her of how she was sexually abused by her peers. Suddenly the colonel knocks at her door and then demanded that she comes to the command center with her sidearm. He tells her that they have an active shooter situation at Fort Greeley and every communication link has been cut off. The situation at Fort Greeley has gotten worse as its interceptor had been taken down, she is then introduced to two other colleagues who are also helping out and finding out a solution to their problem. Corporal Rahul then tells them that the SBX-1 has been given an immediate early warning status as they are the only interceptor base protecting the United States from nuclear missiles. It is then revealed that the Russians had stolen 16 mobile missiles and are ready to attack the United States. The SBX-1 is the only base preventing them from attack, so they are the last line of defense, a video is then displayed on the screen, a Russian terrorist reveals to them that they had stolen ICBMs and are ready to launch them, taking out America once and for all. Colonel Marshall then calls Captain Collins out, he tells her that they are the only people that can save America from destruction, and he encourages her to be brave. As he proceeds, Collins calls him back, saying there might be an insider working for the enemies. Just then they were attacked by intruders who opens fire on them, in the process killing the colonel, Collins fight back as she puts the building on lockdown, but she is faced with a heavily built man who tries to finish her off so he can release the building from lockdown, unfortunately, he was defeated as Collins used his gun to stab him in the eyes, leaving the leader of the terrorists locked outside. It is revealed that during the gunfight, one of her colleagues is grazed by a bullet leaving him unconscious. The leader of the group then speaks to the captain, he tells her that she and her crew are the only people stopping him from completing his mission which he has been planning for six years, he tries to negotiate his entry, saying he will spare their lives but Collins wouldn't agree as she knew the SBX-1 is the only base preventing the nuclear attacks from happening. The leader of the group who introduces himself as Alexander Kessel then proceeds to use blow torches to forcefully enter the command center. She then receives a call from the higher authorities, they ask about Colonel Marshall, and she replies by saying he is dead. She goes on to tell them that terrorists disguised as janitors had seized their vessel and are trying to cut through the door so they can destroy the interceptor. She estimates the time to be 30 minutes before the intruders cut through the door, they then assure her that a SEAL team is inbound to rescue them and that she should hold on a little longer. The president then jumps into the conversation, she tells them that the terrorists have 16 mobile missiles which her military can't find, she explains that they can't launch the attack yet till they get control of the SBX-1. She tells them that they are banking on them to hold position and keep the terrorist out of the room. On the other hand, Colonel Rahul who is just a signal specialist then laments his inability to handle a gun, saying there's no way they would win the fight, just as they were discussing, Kessel interrupts them, he holds Captain Welsh at gunpoint, telling Collins to open the door or he would blast of his head, he tried to manipulate her but yet she didn't agree to open the door, a frustrated Kessel then shoots Welsh. This makes Colonel Rahul panic. He tells Collins that he's afraid and they might probably die when Kessel and his men burst open the door, she tells him not to be scared, all he has to do now is remain focused and make sure they intercept the terrorist missiles. She continues by saying he should look for ways the terrorists can get inside the command center, so they will be able to keep them off. Just then a gunman enters the command center, he fires at them as he engages in a fight with Collins. She finally kills him with her shotgun. They dispose of his dead body as they take possession of his weapon. Rahul scrutinizes the camera, which reveals that everyone working on the rig is dead. The intercom beeps again, Kessel tells Collins that he has more men coming, and she doesn't have any other option but to give up. But she ridicules him saying, he didn't expect her to be on post, hence all his years of planning are a waste and she is impossible to defeat. Kessel then tries to manipulate her, using her past. He tells her that he knew of how she was sexually harassed by a senior officer. She reported the case to a higher authority but began receiving death threats and hate emails from her colleagues. She was so depressed that she attempted suicide, but her father comes in time to save her. Kessel then tells Collins that she is beatable and that if she opens the door, he would give her $30 million, so she can live a life of luxury. But she refuses to let them in. Just as they were talking, B-1 
Beaver regains consciousness and then shoots Collins and Rahul, but they are saved by their bulletproof. It is then revealed that Beaver works for Kessel. He tells them that the America government has failed him and he is ready to turn his back on them. Collins and Beaver then get involved in a little argument, where Collins headbutts him. Just then the president and his associates called, they condemn Kessel for his actions and Beaver for betraying his own country. Kessel then sends an emergency broadcast message to everyone living in America, he tells them that he has control of 16 missiles and he would fire them to destroy different states, so they will watch in horror. He releases the first missile which was heading straight to Los Angeles. They needed just 11 minutes to intercept the missile or the launch will turn out to be successful. He then tries to humiliate Collins, saying she has fought with honor and courage but it isn't just enough, he tells the world about her scandal in the past and how the American military abandoned her. During their discussion, Collins manages to escape, she beats up Kessel and then locks him out of the command center. She got into a serious fight with of his goons which resulted in a bloody encounter, Collins manages to defeat her after so many attempts. She goes over to the intercept button and launch her an interception that destroyed the incoming missile. Beaver then yells at Kessel saying, they should have killed Collins and she is bad news. He goes on to say their faces are all over the news and it was mission over for them. Kessel assures him that everything will still go on smoothly as they are still in possession of 15 missiles. He co-continues by saying backup was on the way, so he shouldn't be scared. Meanwhile, Collins gets a call from the government, they tell her that the SEAL team would be there in 50 minutes and that she should continue with her good work, they go on to tell her that Alexander Kessel is a military personnel and torture specialist. But she shouldn't worry cause a lot of smart people are putting their heads together to make it work. Just as she finished talking to the authorities, Rahul regained consciousness. He was surprised to find out that Collins had taken out all the bad guys. Later on, Collins falls asleep as she dreams about her father advising her not to ever give up. Her dreams were cut short when Rahul woke her up from sleep, saying Kessel wants to speak to her. She goes over to meet Kessel, who tells her everything about her father and where he resides. He then shows her a video of him being captured, he tells her that if she doesn't open the door, her father will be dead, she pleads that he let her father leave. But Kessel kept on manipulating her, she speaks to her father, who tells her not to give up and keep on fighting. Kessel became angry and then orders that he should be killed. This left Collins devastated as he was the only person she had in her life. Kessel then activates an emergency sinking protocol, that will sink the whole rig in 13 minutes, they received a call from the government telling them that the SEAL team will be available in the next 25 minutes and that they should try to control the issue. Rahul then volunteers to help out in closing the valves, so they would be able to stop the interceptor from sinking. He got to the control center, where he buys them more time as he closed each valve, but things turned out bad when Beaver, his colleague goes over to meet him. He stops him from closing the valves and then shoots him. Collins figures out that Kessel is doing the job for financial reasons, so she threatens to tell the world about his situation, if he doesn't cut off the live feed. Kessel had no other option but to disconnect from the live server. Collins tells the government authorities that she has a plan to retake the command center, but they have to allow the terrorists to release all the missiles, so she can fight back and intercept the missiles, their theorist believes that it wasn't going to be possible in just 12 minutes, but the president and everyone believed in her, as they knew they had to take the risk. Beaver then goes inside the command center, but he couldn't find her there. He alerts the others as they joined in searching for her. He orders that they release the missiles as they continued searching for her, Collins ambushed them as she attacked the terrorists, in the process, Kessel fled. She finds out that the interceptor button has been damaged with acid. With little time left, she decides to stop the missiles manually using a drive. She meets up with Beaver, and they engaged in a fight. She decapitates his head using a razor wire, but in the process, she falls into the water. As she is about to drown, she thinks about her father and his reassuring words. This motivates her in saving herself. She intercepts the missiles at the last second, stopping the missiles from destroying the cities it was targeted at. This heroic feat made the whole nation rejoice. An angry Kessel then goes over to meet Collins as they engaged in a fight, he stopped when he noticed his goons were already there to save him, and he mocks Collins, telling her that she did everything for nothing, but instead, Kessel is shot. She is then saved as the rig collapses. Captain Collins is then brought to the hospital for treatment where she meets up with the president who promoted her to the highest rank, as well reveals that her father didn't die but was saved by his combat friends, this makes Collins all teary as she also received a lot of gifts from fans. The end, if you love this video, please leave a like and subscribe.